Good morning, everybody. It is 7.15 a.m., I think, and we're super late to the gym. Normally, I come at, like, 5.30, and it's freaking 7, because basically, I woke up, I slept through so many alarms, so I woke up really late. But yeah, I need to delete some videos off my camera, but then I'm gonna see you guys in there for a pull day. Okay, guys, so I just did a little warm-up. This machine right here, I don't normally use it, so it's gonna be something new. It's basically like a wide pull down machine. And we're probably gonna do four sets here instead of doing like the regular cable machine. Honestly, puts your body at kind of an awkward position. Like when you do a workout and you're not used to like the position it puts your body in, that's when you get sore. Today I did those sissy squats and like my legs burn so bad today. I just switched out the weight from 45 to 35 so that I can get more reps in. This one makes you go really wide, like this wide. It's a little bit difficult. I was a beginner at the gym, like completely. I would probably do this machine before I did like a cable type. Like actually forces you to go in the correct form. This is set number three of four, and then we're just moving one over. When I'm here by myself, workouts go by so fast. Like when I'm with my sister, this takes like 30 minutes. I've only been here for like 10. I should have almost pissed myself on the last one. Just kidding, not for real. I think I'm gonna do one more of this. What I like about this is it kind of, it's like a high row. Like it's not so much like a pull down. Because if you were to do a close grip on the lat pull down, you're just going like up and down. This one you're going forward and down. So it's more like a high row than it is a, I don't know, can you move this here? You can move them one at a time. I'm just gonna do one more and then I think I'm gonna do bent over rows. I'm looking so proud of this creation. I made a makeshift bench. Well, you guys know what these things are, right? They're really useful. I made a bench. Now I'm gonna do bent over ropes. And I feel so smart right now. Like, I literally feel like the smartest person alive. Like, how did I think of this? 40. It's pretty heavy. When I was like peak bulk, bulk, my peak fat, I could do 45s. But here's set number one. Wait. Ooh. 
left side, I only got 11. I think my right arm, I got 13. For my left arm, I got 11. I'm gonna show you guys another way of doing it for the next set. Cause I'm thinking since it's so small that the way that I wanna do it is gonna be a little more easier for me. Basically, I wanna do it like this. If that makes sense instead of um, on my knee because of how short it is. About these makeshift benches that are like a little frustrating is if you're going for like a heavy hip thrust, this thing's gonna knock over like nine times out of 10. It'll like hurt your back too. Hold on with one hand and pull with the other. Pulling towards your hip. Now that I've only just set this up, time to tear it down. Okay guys, so the next workout that we're moving into is just bicep curls. One thing that sucks about pole days is if you don't own straps like me, because you're broke like me, it's kind of hard to keep your grip strength throughout the entire workout. I just saw a video yesterday of Sam Sulek saying anybody who doesn't use straps is a, he said a fool. <laughs> um, and it hurt, kind of hurt my heart, so um, investing. I got 30s. Hopefully we're gonna get eight to 10 reps in with the 30s, then we'll move down if we have to. guys heard yesterday my blow-up bed deflated and I slept on the ground last night I got a new blow-up bed um, from the closet but the problem with that one is that it's so fresh it's like hard as a rock so I don't know if I slept weird or what but my oblique right here is dying I get a lot of questions on if I am ever gonna consider powerlifting if I power lift all these things about powerlifting I enjoy doing powerlifting, but I wouldn't be a powerlifter as of right now. In the future, when I maybe do it for like a competition, maybe. But I honestly don't think I'm strong enough to powerlift anyways. All my woman followers, please comment down below what part of your arm you think is hardest to develop. For me, 1000% biceps. As a woman, you cannot be bulked and have any form of bicep. Like, at least for me, when I was bulked, I had a huge bicep, huge. But there's so much fat that collects on your arm, you can't even see it. Like you could feel it, but you can't even see it. Okay, set number three, we're using 25s. Uh, All right. Oh my God. Oh, that one burns so bad. You know what? I've actually decided we're just gonna do six sets of this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this set, then do the fifth one off camera and show you guys the sixth. Okay. Uh, 
All right, you guys, against my better judgment, I've decided to do seven sets. We're pushing it. We're pushing it. guys so we actually have more light today than usual obviously I have to start with abs oh yeah that just comes with cutting weight though that's why I like to flex them you see the peak oh yeah I don't know if you guys can see it since it's so far away the peak is definitely getting better Oh, we said this. I love it. We look at it move. Ooh. Tense ball on my shoulder. I didn't do triceps, not gonna pose them. Did it again. Okay, what other bicep? I mean, there's this I wouldn't consider to be biceps. All right. Perfect. All right, let's do that again. Alright you guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow.